Hi buddies. Welcome to my channel. Now we are going to find out how to install the Azure Lane on PC so we can begin to play with mouse and keyboard on a large screen. There is no need to keep the eyes on small screen but it's the time to experience Azure Lane on PC. You're watching it on the screen, and you'll discover how it is actually running. Now we should do it. A URL is given in the video description or perhaps in the first pinned comment. You will find this link actually. Simply click it, it will lead you to this page of Bluestacks Azure Lane. Install Azure Lane on your PC by using Bluestacks. Bluestacks is an amazing program to download virtually any Android game on a large screen. Simply, click on, Download Azure Lane for PC and this game will be installed on your laptop. Here it is, bluestacksinstaller.x. We click this file to start it. Windows 10 might require permissions. To continue installing, simply accept the terms. In order to view game installer, it's better to minimize the internet browser in this way. Now I'm gonna choose the directory for the installation of this game. Directory is often picked simply by pressing Customize Installation. We just leave it as it is, we head over to Back, and we click on the Install Now option. This file is very small and will be downloaded within no time at all. The downloading is determined by the net speed. It will then set up the emulator in your desktop. Look, the file is installed. This is the first time it'll open BlueStacks, so it's going to make some configurations, which it's only gonna do this time, the rest of the times it's not going to take too long to launch. This specific action is very important. We need to log in to Google Play, we will click, Sign In. When you will click it, you will be asked to type in the necessary information to log in to Google Play. You cannot still install the game without Sign In because it's a Google Play game. Like we've discussed, we will enter in email and also password to get access to Google account. We have now logged into it, and it welcomes us. We will need to accept the terms, we click on, I agree, it asks for creating backup of our system in the cloud storage but we do not require it so we press, no. Observe that this device is like a mobile phone or a tablet, and it will give us the option to save a backup of the files in the cloud storage if we lose it and want to recover it. We just accept it. Only, hit this particular arrow and go to your desktop. Note that the two icons are now being exhibited here that are BlueStacks and also BlueStacks Multi-Instance. Simply click BlueStacks so as to start the BlueStacks application. Now, let us finally install this game on computer. Azure Lane is being downloaded, have patience. Depending on your internet connection, it takes more or even less time. Since it will take a couple of minutes to download so I will cut this part in the video tutorial. Thus, it's now done downloading, and as you can observe, it has now created one more icon on the desktop, Azure Lane, which will let us connect to the game without needing to go to the blue stacks. Starting the game on PC is now very simple, just click this icon twice and there you go. We might start Azure Lane directly from here, but I am going to demonstrate how to do this if we start blue stacks. We are going to click this BlueStacks icon to start out the game. You may also modify the settings of keyboard from here. We will keep it at the default, we close it. Firstly, I would like to explain how there are two big screen methods. This is to maximize the emulator, you will get full screen having a border. It would not be a 100% full screen. By pushing F11, you'll get 100% full screen for the game. When you will start playing in full screen setting, you will be able to better concentrate on the game. Depending upon the power of your PC, Azure Lane could be more or less fluid, since this is an emulator and requires a great deal of power. Let's now quickly look over how you can alter the language of the game. To alter the language, select this cogwheel and hit on Preferences. There are various languages accessible to this game. See, this is how I have altered the language. Finally, I am done with the installation of the game. If this video was effective for you then subscribe to Usitility channel and we will come with new stuff. Thanks to you for watching the video, and see you in a new video. Bye.